Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome back. It is the next day, the following day, Friday, uh, and Jason and I decided to do our, um, our three and a half hour endurance ride today, mainly because this weekend um, it looks like it is going to rain, but man, it's warm out here. Um, it's definitely in the 80s or above now. Um, I do have uh, just an arm sleeve, uh, protective sleeve. Yeah, we're gonna do our um, three and a half hour endurance ride today. Um, kind of as a, I know we don't normally ride, do, a, do our long rides right after a hard effort yesterday, but I didn't really think I went that hard yesterday. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Also, um, I've been having really bad chafing. I'm not sure if it's from the shorts or from my saddle. And so what I ended up doing was switching out my, um, I think they're called Cell San Marco, um, which are the stock uh, saddles that come with the Canyon Ultimate. So I switched it over to um, the WTV uh, Vault, which I really liked from my previous bike. So um, I'm hoping that this will, that, that might have been the reason why I was getting really bad chafing because I didn't really have as bad of a chafing until um, I did ride on that saddle. So um, hopefully that helps. And yeah, it's going to be uh, not too much elevation today. Going to Redding is a new route. Um, we've ridden in Redding, but um, connecting, uh, riding out from the house into Redding will be fairly new. Well, it's a tad bit busier today uh, on the roads, probably because it's a weekday, it's Friday. Yeah, the road that we're taking to get there uh, seems busier. We've ridden through this road before, but in the opposite direction. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the only thing about riding on the weekdays is now that all these places are reopening. Everybody's going to work.
right, so we're here um, at Hemlock uh, Reservoir. Um, we've stopped out here a couple of times in the past, and um, yeah, roads were pretty busy today, and I almost got, I don't know what happened there, but there was some uh, issue with, I guess, two cars, and one car wanted to uh, overtake me, but maybe he took or she took over too far off into the into the opposite lane and so the other car honked and I that kind of spooked me so I guess the trials and tribulations when you are riding uh, during the weekday when you know it's busy um, I guess that's why we do our Sunday rides but um, yeah I mean it's pretty good so far uh, we are about 27 miles into our ride about halfway and uh, we're going to um, so it was downhill coming to here but then it's going back uphill again so that'll be kind of a challenge yeah good ride so far uh, about halfway into it our average speed is a little higher than normal because it was a lot of downhill to this point and um, yeah, it's, we're, uh, we're feeling, even though we, we did a hard workout yesterday, we're, we're feeling pretty good, I think. Not, definitely not full, full power. Um, there, is, there is a uh, climb segment coming up later in the ride that I, I really want to go for a PR on, and I probably will go for one, uh, just because I haven't done that segment in, in a long time. So hopefully I'll be able to get it. Um, but it's a question of just how hard I'm going to go on it since I definitely don't feel 100% power today. Um, but hopefully it'll at least be good enough to get a PR in that segment.
boy. Just finished the uh, Hill Road segment, which is Route 107 here in Reading. Uh, I think it's a little over a mile long. Not super steep, um, kind of a moderate grade. I went as hard as I could on it. Um, I don't think I had my my max max power today, but because uh, um, I probably used it yesterday. But I tried as hard as I could given given how my legs are feeling at the moment. So I'm I'm happy with that, and. I did, uh, I did PR it by quite a bit, so uh, happy with that too. Um, my time today was 7 minutes 11 seconds, and uh, previous PR was 9 minutes and 6 seconds. So I guess I got, my, I got it by almost 2 minutes, which I guess I should be really happy with that. And I am really happy with that. Uh, okay, so it's, now it's time to noodle our way home, I think. It's, uh, it's feeling pretty hot now, especially after that hard effort. Uh, we are here now, um, other side of Putnam Park, taking a, a break. Figured we just need to kind of refuel after that climb uh, and then head back home. Uh, I always run into the issue of lack of water. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my, um, my mask and so now it's going to be hard for me to, to get water. Um, Jason was able, to, nice enough to always uh, lend me some but yeah um, just taking a breather here trying to cool off because the temperature is definitely uh, warming up hopefully um, you know it doesn't get too hot going back home so here's Jason yeah I uh, could use a um, teleportation device at this time to just transport me back home into a directly into a cold shower um yeah i don't have too much energy left i kind of spent all of it on that last sec segment but uh i think we can manage to to noodle at home from here although riding on a friday does have the roads a little bit busier i'm definitely glad i took today off to to do this ride it's uh certainly beats work yeah we'll uh just noodle it home from here and uh, just try to take it easy. 15 miles left. 15 miles left about, so we can, we can handle that. It should be a little over an hour.
You want me to get ahead of you? No, I'm not good at these. I'll go ahead that way. Yeah, that was a nice uh, solid ride and actually feeling pretty uh, uh, I don't know if I don't know if wiped out's the right word but definitely very hot uh, I don't think we're used to riding in uh, I'm not sure exactly what the temperature is it's got to be in the 80s uh, Fahrenheit and um, we since we started riding together in the fall and then through the winter this is really the first time that we've ridden in the heat so it's uh it's a little bit of a different different ball game and uh, i don't think we brought enough water so we'll have to keep that in mind next time that you need to go through probably need an extra bottle of water when when it's hot like this um yeah and i think at least personally i'm i'm also feeling some accumula accumulated fatigue from doing a hard workout yesterday and then doing the ride today so Legs are, are pretty tired now and um, ready to rest up this weekend. Before I forget um, uh, to mention this, I was talking about my saddle uh, this morning and how I switched it out because I had some discomfort and uh, I didn't really feel any difference. Um, I, it, it's a little bit more comfortable, but I don't really know uh, for certain if that is because of the saddle. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I'll have to see, I'll figure out what the other issue is and if any women are out there uh, listening to this, um, what do you do differently um, to prevent any chafing or men too, like what do you do to prevent chafing? I put on the, the chamois butter, um, which is for women. Um, if you know of any products out there that you swear by, um, send them over to me. All right. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.